what light or what fellowship has light with darkness? One day it is, I'm on the mountainside and the next day the devil is right there beside me saying, this year I'm going to make you as miserable as I can. Have any of you ever been there? I mean, most of us know the scripture that says, weeping endures for the night and joy comes in the morning. Praise the Lord. But also, if we're really, really honest, there's a part of us that says, Lord, I get it. I know that joy is coming in the morning, but if you could just tell me how long the night is, I would really appreciate it. Because if I knew that this night was going to be over in just a week and a half, I think I could do a lot better. But Lord, it seems like that this thing has gone on forever. Do you ever think about what happens now, 30 years from today, if we should have a 30 years or more? Well, some of you, if you don't make the right decision, I got to tell you, it's going to be very bleak indeed. But those of you that make the right decision, God is going to be with you every one of those years. And I can remember the life-changing decision that God allowed me to make. I think that a decision, well, what is the definition? It is a conclusion of an evaluation. I begin to evaluate what is important in my life. I would rather walk with Jesus. I'd rather be an old-time Christian. I begin to evaluate. I don't want to walk through the valley and be by myself. I begin to evaluate. I want somebody to be with me, to hold me, to put his arms around me and pick me up when I begin to fall. I begin to evaluate. I don't want to be alone. I want to face the future knowing that my God is near and everything is well. I want God on my side. Evaluate and remember that when you were up against it, when you were at war, the leader, the general, that wonderful captain of your salvation was with you. A decision is an evaluation. Has he not blessed you? A decision is an evaluation. Has he not touched you? And you knew how grand it was. And I've got to tell you, people are not that helpful. Some of you will make the decision, and the people that you love will tell you that you made the wrong decision. But it is the decision that you need to make nonetheless. You're the only one that's going to be affected by your decision. No, 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 no. If I make this decision, my wife will leave me. No, you're the only one that will be affected by this decision. If your wife would leave you because you got saved, you don't need her sorry carcass. There is a passage of Scripture that I believe to help us look at what's ahead for us in 2015 be very careful then how you live not as unwise but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil therefore do not be foolish but understand what the Lord's will is for your life 